All right, so welcome people back to iTech Client Civil Technology. Uh, my name is Paul Bastian, and in today's clip, we shall be demonstrating how we will create a database on WAP Server, linking the database to Microsoft Access using the appropriate OBDC driver. Great, so like we said, we're going to be continuing to show how we're going to be having WAM server running. So I already have WAM server installed. And as you can see, it's green and it's online and everything. We have all the services running. And I'm going to launch my admin, PHP my admin. Good. So as we can see here, the appropriate view is in place and we have a few databases already in place with the with the installation um, but for the purposes of this demo I, I propose to uh, import a database instead of using these okay so I click on import and I browse I we'll already have a database set up it's called products right and it's an it's an SQL server query file all right and I'm keep it on this this view importing into the current server I hit browse I select it and then it's already entered there we leave all the rest as set as default and we'll say go nice and as you can see here it says import has been successfully finished 11 queries executed products.sql and you can see on this side here products.sql is now included in the list of databases that are available okay so now I we can peruse this database right, we'll select it from here and we can say all right let's let's have a look so we jump to the database products in the database products is one table um, there are seven rows with different things in those rows let's browse that database so we can see it nice so here now we have a, the table as it that we imported and as you can see we could even pull up that table to show you know what's, what's in that table so if we say edit with notepad this is what we this is what we imported into the database is a, t is a standard uh, SQL query where we put in um, drop the database if it exists if it was there and then we recreate it we use the name products and we create a table called books books and products um, we state what we want the the ID and stuff to be uh, we say how we want it to increment and we set the primary key and we put the other other fields like title category ISBN number and this is the data that we insert in into the table All right so you can see we inserted one two three four five six seven records and if we flip back you can see is one two three four five six seven records good so we've successfully imported uh, that SQL table and populating the database is a useful way to do it instead of having to enter one record at a time. If you have hundreds of records, you could, then you can just do a simple query and import it into my admin, uh, PHP my admin, which is really an installation of my SQL. Okay, now, so in order to link this to access, we need to launch access. So we go to all programs, Microsoft Office. Oh, we need to launch Access in administrative mode. So we say run as administrator. Say yes. Nice. And we can pull up, let's, let's pull up our empty database. All right, so this database is, well, as you can see, it's empty. All right, but we go to external data, we use the ODBC database, 
you say link to the data source by creating a link table say okay and when the machine data we go to the machine data source and we hit new in here we select system data source and say next and we scroll down to select the driver and I know I installed the driver before so it's here and we say next say finish then we give the data source a name well the name of the table is box well the box is the table so let's call it products right and the user is root and we open up here and we select the database the database is called products and let's test it nice so test result shows that the connection was successful say okay and we have the products connection here and we're going to be using it nice and this is the table that's that's on there and right? if we flick back to the table you can see that the table is called from books right the table is books so we go back to here we select books say okay and there we have the link to the access database and to show, show to, to show that we actually connected when we double click here there we have the full table let's expand this showing the books that we had migrated into mysql server mysql server and we can now have a connection to those books so So we're going to be seeing if that we could update the server because as we can see the server has seven records. So when has seven records, let's see if we could include some, let's see if we could include some data from right in this table here. All right, so let's, let's grab a couple of books here. Um, this book is called into, this is capital letters, I-M-T-E. C-I-O-N-A-L Organizations Right Category is um, International Relations Let's call it international relations. IMT relations. Okay, then this ISBN number. This ISBN number happens to be zero one three, which seems to be common among all of them. Zero four five four two seven three enter that one so uh, that is record nine it should be record eight right. and then we go uh, economic arm um, enter and we go this says this book is called economics It's under the um, it's under the category of econ, and its ISBN number is quite different. It's it's nine seven eight zero one nine. Nine two eight six four one. Wow, it's pretty long. Six four one six. Okay. So we have have it there. So when we go back to 
this uh, view. Now we hit books. There we have it. The records were updated, including inclusive of the days of the records. This is how the IDs run. And what we've shown is that we can populate from an access client, having connected to a database via an ODBC connector, we can actually have a, a, a data entry clock, just open up Microsoft Access, you link them to the server, the tables are already there for them, and they can start entering data. This could be a, a library system or something. So that was that was another stint in the, the demos of how to operate within a client server system using access to the client and my ad, PHP my admin via MySQL via MySQL to populate databases on a server.